Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. The first release of geni genetically modified mosquitoes in the United States just began in the Florida Keys, the culmination of decade-long effort by local mosquito control authorities to see if a genetically modified organism is a variable alternative to spraying in insecticide in the region for the first 12-week phase. Blue and white boxes containing about 12,000 GMO eggs developed by a U.S.-owned British-based company called Oxtec, which has been placed in six small areas. When water is added, the mosquito mosquitoes had mature and entered the environment over the next week or so. The program's target addressed the gypti and invasive species of mosquitoes that carry several potential deadly diseases including yellow fever, dengue, and zika virus. In the initial stage, 144,000 male mosquitoes will be released in the three-month pilot period. Rose said after which additional testing will be done to ensure the mosquitoes are mating with females in the wild and reducing the population as planned. Since HIV emerged as a pandemic in the early 1980s, scientists have been trying to figure out a way to outsmart the Wiley virus, which really morphs into different strands and makes it difficult to create an effective immune response. Not now a potential HIV vaccine is showing very promising results in phase I human trials. The vaccine works by stimulating the production of rare immune cells that might effectively generate HIV strands, antibodies. A result was found in the 97% of human per participants who were administrated the vaccine. The findings were presented as the International AIDS Society HIV Research for Prevention Conference. The potential vaccine has initially shown great effectiveness in prompting certain cells to create antibodies that can fend off HIV in its various interactions. An HIV vaccine would have enormous global benefits. Currently, around 38 million people around the world are living with the disease, which can now be controlled through medication. Researchers believe the potential vaccine could yield benefits in the fight against other diseases like malaria and influenza. Despite our efforts to sort and recycle, less than 9% of plastic gets recycled in the U.S. and most ends up in landfill or the environment. Biodegradable plastic bags and containers could help, but if they're not properly sorted, they can contaminate otherwise recyclable number one and number two plastics. What's worse, most biodegradable plastic takes months to break down, and when they finally do, they form microplastics, tiny bits of plastic that can end up in oceans and animals' bodies, including our own. But that all might be changing. Scientists at the Berkeley Lab have designed an enzyme activated compostable plastic that could distinguish microplastics pollution and hold great promise for plastic upcycling. The material can be broken down to its building blocks and then reformed into a new compostable plastic products. This will be unlike current conventional biodegradable plastics that aren't indistinguishable from single-use plastics and be a huge boon for the environment and recycling waste. That's all for today. So from me and everybody here at Falcon TV, have a great day.